morning, Whittier. Mr. Franklin back with the announcements. I am joined today by Ms. Mondragon. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Good morning, Wildcats. <laughs> it seems like I haven't seen you in forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our pledges. I will uh, screen share them with you if you can't remember them. Uh, yeah. Or even if you can, <laughs> I'm going to screen share them. And then you can go ahead and do those and then we'll uh, go from there. So oh. let's see. I've, do I've been doing pretty good at this. So let's see if it works. All right. Can you see him? Yes, I can. All right, I'll start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. all right. Now, let's do kids at hope. I am a kid at hope. I am talented, smart, and capable of success. I have dreams for the future, and I will climb to reach the goals and dreams every day, no exception. All right, now we're moving on to Treasure Hunter's Pledge. As an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all talent, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and youth. I believe that all children are capable of success, no exceptions. All right, great job. Okay, so let's get to some of the other stuff that I wanted to talk to you about. So starting with uh, the big thing that's on everybody's mind, the thing that's going on now, which is um, the quarantine. How is the quarantine uh, affecting you? How you feeling? How's your how's your head? Um, and what's the first thing you want to do when it's done? Um, well, at first I was feeling scared. I'm pretty sure like everyone was, but then you know I just like had to like think, calm down. But now I'm feeling better. Um, I've been doing a lot of cleaning at my house, so that that has helped me a lot. I've been doing a lot of work too from home. Um, the first thing I want to do once we're off this quarantine is probably go eat at our favorite restaurants with my family. All right. So number two, what, um, how you been staying busy? What have you been up to work-wise? Um, I've been like reading some books from work. I've been watching videos. Um, I've been also coming to the office, obviously social distancing in the office, but I've been coming in the office, helping here at the office. Awesome. All right. Now, uh, number three, and, and obviously because you're there, this, it might not pertain to you as much. Uh, the one thing I'll tell you is I've told it, I'm, I've told everybody the same thing. Your answer cannot be the kids because we would all choose the kids. It's the easy answer. It's the obvious answer. Um, What's the thing you miss most about being at school? Meaning like the way things are normally, what do you miss the most? Um, I like, I miss um, having a schedule, like just having a set schedule for everything. And that's what I miss, besides the kids. <laughs> All right, so, um, okay. So uh, let's talk about a couple other things. So you were a, a Star Award recipient. And um, I will tell you that I, I nominated you for Star Award. I thought you deserved it 100%. So uh, I'm sure others did as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? And, and just what, once you got it, how did you, what, how'd you feel? This is your chance to say whatever you want to say about it. Okay. Um, so I received a phone call Friday um, from Principal Rendon. And then I was like, why is she calling me? But then she told me, and I was like, I was really speechless. Um, I know every time I come to work, I give it my all, um, but I was still so speechless, and I just want to say thank you to all the teachers I work with, um, all the staff members I work with. They're great, so just thank you all for being great. Well, uh, you definitely deserve it, so I'm, I'm sure it was probably a surprise because all those things are a surprise, but I mean, it, it, definitely, it couldn't have been that much of a surprise because you do work very hard. Um, okay, so another question I've been asking all the teachers is, mm -hmm. if you could have, and I took this from another show that I watch, uh, mm -hmm. if you could have a rainbow over your head, what would you want, th that would be like kind of like the first thing everybody saw when they saw you, what would you want your rainbow to say? And some examples are, uh, Miss McCrayton said determination, Miss um, Mitchell said hello, Coach V said uh, you'll never regret doing something kind. Uh, so those are some examples. You can put whatever you want on it. 
Um, I would say smile. Just smile. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, okay, and lastly, what message do you have for the kids? I just want to tell the Wildcats I miss them. I, I just can't wait for August to be here and just stay safe, stay connected, and you are loved. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Mondragon. Uh, congratulations again on your Star Award. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.